Hi, welcome to my first part of a six part series going through my testing career cheat sheet, uh, hints and tips to help you through your software testing career. These are based off my real life career examples and I've put together this resource to help people who are struggling with the job hunting process at the moment. Uh, we weren't expecting to go through a pandemic, but hey, no one plans these things. So I was wanted to help any way I can by putting together some things that have been useful for me. So part one, I'm just going to switch over, uh, is this is the blog post for my testing career cheat sheet. Part one is start with why. Um, spend a little bit of time reflecting why you want this next job or why you want this career. Why do you think software testing works for you? Uh, if you're unaware of what your values are, it might be worth going through a uh, values test. There is Psychology Today have this 15-minute uh, quiz you can do to assess your values. I think it's useful to find out uh, where your values align and how you can pick a, a company or a culture that also aligns with your values. You don't want to take a job um, just because it will help pay the bills if it's going to uh, cause you to compromise on your, your values and what you care about. I mean, like, it's really important to, to put food on the table, but it's also important to have a job or a role that you enjoy and adds value to your life. Uh, but we've all been there. I've taken jobs. Um, which were short-term testing contracts just to help me pay the bills, uh, but I wasn't happy in those roles. Um, so going through a phase of self-reflection really helped me focus where I wanted to take my career and what would be the next job that would be the best thing for me right now. Uh, when I did this uh, psychology test, um, I found out that one of my biggest values uh, is uh, theoretical values. I really enjoy learning. And I had always put my first core value as community. I get a lot of benefit of adding value to other people. And I didn't realize I could put, you know, learning new things as one of my personal values. So it was um, interesting to, to go through this quiz and to figure out I could actually say I really enjoy learning and that's what I'd like to get out of my next role. Um, it also give you your influencing values and minor values. So social values or sense of community is actually an influencing value. It is one of my main ones, but it's actually not my main one according to this survey. Anyway, uh, when you go through this uh, values personality test, it gives you this really in-depth uh, PDF of uh, what type of what those values mean, um, how people identify with those values and whatnot. I found this like a really good uh, reflection point to, to go, I the next thing I want to do in my career is actually something completely different from software testing and I want to learn more. I feel like I'm at a point in my software testing career where if uh, it's hard for me to learn new things. Uh, I don't want to build out more automation testing or learn more that way. So I'm actually looking outside of tech to, to, to appeal that next learning thing. Before I got my current role, I also wrote a blog post uh, where I was reflecting on what my next ideal role would look like. Um, so I had just started a short term contract and it was just to help me pay the bills. Uh, and so I went through this exercise of going what would be my ideal next role and came up with a few things that uh, I wanted to keep an eye on. I wanted to do mobile technology. I wanted to keep tech skills up to date uh, and uh, have a bit of support for uh, public speaking, uh, teaching and coaching. Uh, and you know a bit of job stability doesn't doesn't go astray but I found this really useful to go through uh, roughly in January last year this was two months before I got my current role at combat so I found this use really useful to, to go through this if you're unsure of uh, if software testing is the right career path for you at all or you're trying to contemplate other career paths uh, wait but why have this really interesting blog post content warning this is a really long blog post it could take you a few hours to just to read through this and then if you want to do some of the exercises that come with this it can take you a little bit of time to figure that stuff out but the whole premise of this blog post is you have uh, careers you want on one side you have careers that are possible reality on the other side you have some sort of intersection of uh, option pools 
Uh, and then you can also think of yourself as there's, there's all these different parts of yourself, um, your social, moral, practical obligations, the lifestyle you want, and your personal goals. Uh, so this blog post might come across as a little silly and thinking of yourself as a little wibbly wobbly uh, five-legged octopus, uh, but it's a really interesting uh, breakdown and sometimes these parts of your personality contradict each other like maybe your social side just wants to save the world but your uh, your practical side is like well I've got bills to pay tomorrow what are you gonna do save the world me um, I found this like a really useful way of breaking down how you think about yourself and how you have all these different desires competing with each other too and also it's uh, very visual as well it's quite uh, interesting and even then each arm could be broken down into even smaller sections as well. So for example, personal here uh, can be broken down into passion, self-esteem, identity. Um, and it is a very long blog post, but I think definitely worth the read if you're trying to reflect uh, how you're going about your life or career. So in conclusion, my first step uh, with get, uh, going along your software testing career path is to spend a bit of time reflecting why you want this job, what jobs have worked well for you in the past, uh, what have you enjoyed about those roles, was there uh, a team culture that really worked for you, how would you find out about another team that had a similar culture or um, during the interview process, um, or how would you uh, ask questions um, to help you identify those roles that would uh, be really useful for you. So yeah, uh, I think start with why uh, when you're going through the job hunting process so you've got a clear idea of how to filter out all the possible job ads out there and hopefully find something that satisfies your soul but also, uh, also is useful for helping pay the bills. Thank you.